And here we got the first find. Noster Hungarian Bannet. World War One. We have another mo model like this. But this is different. Like this part here is different. I will show you later the other one that we have. Oh my god. Guys, we made it. Today we exceeded our expectations. Because look at these. So I'll start with something less important. So this is a World War One German gas mask container. Or maybe Austro Hungarian. Maybe Austro Hungarian. But for sure is the gas mask container. Okay. Next we have a zinc kind of box. I'm not sure, maybe we're fuses in here or something else. We'll check that later. And then look at this belt buckle. This is so cool. This might be German or Austro Hungarian, I'm not sure. What I know for sure that this is brass and the hooking system is steel. It's a little bit bent here, but hey, <laughs> it's pretty good fine. It doesn't matter that it's bent. Then we have this beautiful World War I German butcher bayonet. This is a long bayonet. This is the model without the spikes here. It's in a fair condition. Not good, not bad. We'll see after we clean this. And the last find is this Austro-Hungarian sword. Short Look. sword. Yeah, that's short. Maybe 40 centimeters long. And this is the scabbard. This is the scabbard. But the scabbard is quite destroyed. In right. two pieces. Yeah, it's broken in half. But we will try to recover this as much as we can. And this day got better and better. Because look at this. We got two World War I Austro Hungarian cannon shells. And we have the year here, 1916. And these are fully brass. Unbelievable. Look at this. We got another belt buckle. This time it's got mit uns. This is German. World War I belt buckle. This is very rare. This is our first one and we were dreaming about this for quite some time and we finally found it. Yeah, but this is not all. Here we have a, a tonic button. And here we have a, a piece from shoes for climbing. And this is a plate. Enamel. And that's not all. We found another five shells, cannon shells. And right here we have another Austro-Hungarian bayonet. Here we have a box for fuses. And this is probably a German wire cutter. It's in not a really good condition, but still. And again, this World War I Russian bayonet. 
So look at these, how many objects we found today. That's not all. Pretty, pretty nice. Simply amazing, guys. Look at this. The second banner, this time in a scabbard. And I think this is Oster Hungarian. And look at this. There is a little bit outside the scabbard. And it's in a pretty good shape. So we will be able to see the marks here later when we clean this. The handle looks good. Yeah, that's another beautiful find. As you can see, we managed to take the bannet out. And look at this, this is beautiful. It's in a really good shape and will clean nice. Yeah. Look what we got in here. We got a World War One Austro-Hungarian canteen. This is enameled, and it's in a really good shape. But too bad that the ear here is missing. There was a circle here with the ear in the middle. But I can see something like 1916, maybe. Anyway, this is a really nice find. And right here we have an enamel cup. So you can see now the difference between these. See? They adapted this for a different weapon, I think. For a different rifle. Uh, right here, I think this is a dagger. So there is this line here. And it's light. And I think it's from that time as well.